So today's video, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna show you three places in Kalihi that I consider underdogs. And when I mean underdog, I don't mean anything negative. I mean like maybe the other word for it would be underrated or hidden gems that people don't really know about unless you're from here or work in the area. When you think of places in Kalihi to eat, it's always famous places like Helena's, Palace Simon, um, Ray's Cafe or something like that. But these are places you might not have heard of. If you have, then good for you. But they're places that make delicious food and I hope to expose them and have maybe one of you guys try it and um, try out some good food made by some awesome people. So stay tuned and let's go. All right, so this is our first stop, Island Style Barbecue. It's near Zippy's Mokuea, if you don't know. So let's check it out. Hey, so our first stop was, like I said, Island Style Barbecue, and um, they've been open since 2010. And it's run by a small little cute Chinese lady and her son. I remember I used to go there when I used to work in Kalihi a lot. I haven't been there for a while, but they actually, for a small hole in the wall, they do some pretty um, amazing dishes. They do rack of lamb, they do like futakake salmon, all kind of fancy stuff. So today's special, every day they have a different special, was a soft shelled crab with a sweet aioli sauce. So who has that at a hole in a wall? Soft shelled crab, fried, nice and crispy. I see a lot of panko. It's actually a salad. I thought there was rice, but it's okay. We're gonna start off light and go through all the different places. So let's take a bite. Hmm. That's winners. Super crunchy and it's real soft shell crab. Mmm. Amazing. She gave some dressing. She said Thousand Island, but I don't think you even need dressing. That sauce they have on here is so good. And they use romaine lettuce, not the cheap kind. Like I don't like iceberg. So nice green leafy fresh veggies nice grape tomatoes too nice and juicy see this is really good mm. i love crab and i never ever thought i would find soft shelled crab at a plate lunch place. This is like stuff that they fry for sushi and put it in a roll. But it's so good with the sauce in a salad. Who'd have thunk? And the sauce is like a, almost reminiscent of a sweet Thai chili sauce, but it's got something creamy in there. So it's almost like a creamy dressing. Really ingenious and I like the, you see the green onion sprinkled on there. It gives it actually a lot of flavor. It's not just like a decoration or anything like that. It actually really boosts the flavor of this crab. So in this plate you get um, three pieces of soft shell crab. And I'm sorry, you might go here and that's not going to be available because it's the special of the day. But I was always taught from my travels to always get the special of the day because you know that's the fresh stuff they just got in for that day um, and why not try it it's something that you don't get often you know it's not on their regular menu so if you ever see a special of the day at a restaurant you like definitely try it out and if you never had soft shell crab and you like the crab flavor they're perfect because you literally can eat the whole thing and you um, don't have to peel it none of that and it's not messy and if you're wondering what kind of dishes they have on their specials, so today I just looked, you have to look on their Facebook and I'll put the link on the description. But today's specials, there's tons of them. The ones I can remember are garlic prime rib. They've got um, rack of lamb today, futakake salmon, the crab salad. They've got oxtail stew. Man, it's amazing. So definitely check out Island Style Barbecue uh, here in Kalihi on King Street for some awesome affordable grinds. We'll go over the price. This salad with the pretty copious amounts of crab 
was $12.99, so that's $13.60 with um, tax. So definitely check it out. It's like gourmet food in a plate lunch, and you definitely won't regret it. They give massive amounts to, from the last time I went there, um, lots of rice. So you'll definitely be full with lots of meat. The other things I've tried before was like the turkey with gravy and stuffing, really delicious. Um, I've had their steak with onions and mushrooms once, and I've also had their, what was it, uh, chop steak. So that's like Hawaiian chop steak with like tomatoes and veggies, stir fried, all delicious. Definitely a good value and you get gourmet style plate lunches at this little hole in the wall. So definitely check it out. The only con I have is if you know the area well, and this is always the con in most of my videos of places that are awesome, it always seems to be that way in Hawaii is the parking sucks. So it's all street parking. They're usually all taken. I was lucky and got the last street parking and they're metered parking, so you have to pay the meter. So our next stop is Kalihi Barbecue Drive-In and it's located off of um, North School Street and Dement Street. If you're not familiar with Dement Street, the closest next uh, cross street would be Gulick. So it's kind of near Fast Stop, so that's a landmark if you're not familiar with the Kalihi area. And to me, I have always gone here for the chicken katsu. It is delicious, they give massive plates, and it is pretty reasonable. So this is the chicken katsu plate. It's freaking huge and the weight is heavy. You get, obviously this is a mini, look at how much chicken you get. And you get their sauce and some rice and mac salad. So let's dig in. Check that out, nice and crispy. Hmm. Chicken katsu heaven, the sauce is delicious too. I would say, out of what I tasted anyway, this is the best chicken katsu spot around in Honolulu. Both in terms of taste and value. Because they give a lot. Nice and crispy. Chicken's moist inside, not dry. Even for mini tons of rice, this is hitting the spot. Honestly, I've never tried anything else from here. I always get the same thing if I do come to Kalihi Barbecue, just a chicken katsu. But if you look on Yelp, a lot of people like their other foods. It's run by a Chinese family. So they have other Chinese items like fried rice and all that. So I'm sure that's good too. Let's try out their mac salad. Not really a mac salad fan, but I'll eat it. This one's good. Right amount of mayo. I like the oniony flavor. That makes it super delicious to me. And otherwise, I don't really care for mac salad. Um, but definitely that nice onion flavor with a little bit of carrot in there too. I'm not knowing if you can hear it, but that crunch, that's what make this, makes this spot the bomb for sure. I don't have much cons for this place. Um, parking's pretty simple. They have parking right in front of their door. Yeah, maybe five spots or so, four. Usually it's never really crowded too much. Uh, they open at 10 and they serve lunch right away if you crave lunch instead of breakfast, but they also have breakfast. The only con I have is um, they give you one napkin, this one little flimsy piece. So if you're messy, bring your own napkins. Really manini, minor stuff, but kind of chang with the napkins. Um, you, I didn't get to film inside because she... And I totally understand this. They're very COVID conscious. So it is super small in there, very, very tiny. Even before COVID, I think they could fit only like one table with two chairs. It's mostly just a takeout place. So you have to, once you place your order, um, she says to wait outside right away and she comes and delivers it to your car, which is cool. But sorry, couldn't film inside. 
So wrapping up our second underdog place in Kalihi, Kalihi Barbecue Drive-In. Awesome food, awesome portions. Definitely the best chicken katsu, in my opinion, in Honolulu, both in taste, value, and massive amounts, the quantity of it. The price was $8.37 with tax for a mini, but as you can see, that mini was massive. I think you could probably get that and be full for sure. It's probably, if you were to spread it in a regular plate lunch, it would probably be a regular plate lunch in terms of quantity. So I don't even want to know what their regular plate lunch is because I never got the regular because this mini is always so huge. Definitely check them out. They're kind of underrated. If you know, you know, but I don't think most people know about uh, this small little place as well. So that's why it made my list. And we'll go to our third place. Come along. Okay, our final destination for today's underdogs of Kalihi is Tatsuo's. And they're located on Alahao uh, Place. Yeah, that's place, not street. Alahao Place. And if you're not familiar with it, because it is a kind of small road, it's the first right when you go into Sand Island Access Road. So no matter where you're coming from, whether you're coming from west side or east side, when you take that turn into the beginning of Sand Island Access Road, it's the first right on that small street. Um, if you see like American Carpet One and all that, they're over there. So they specialize in plate lunches and every day they have specials. Today's specials on their Facebook and Instagram was hamburger stew. They have um, steak on Fridays. Today's Friday, so steak. Today's special um, caught my eye is smoked meat. I love smoked meat. And uh, if you don't know what Hawaiian smoked meat is, because I have a lot of viewers in the mainland as well, it is kind of like a, I wouldn't say teriyaki, but it's got like a sugar soy base. Sometimes we put Hawaiian chili pepper in it and we smoke it. But it's not like mainland smoked meat. It still has a chew and bite to it. So it's not like falling apart brisket or something like that. And it's usually after it's smoked, it's pan fried with some onions. And that's what this is. And I see a little bit of chili pepper in there, which is great. So let's take a taste. This is a mini, but it looks like a full plate lunch. You can also get a full plate lunch if you want, but I've been eating all these things, so I'm kind of getting full. What I like about it is you can also pick your side. They have like pickled daikon, kimchi, cucumber kimchi sometimes, all kinds of different stuff. So I got the kimchi. Looks fiery red and scary, but let's take a taste. Mmm. That was good kimchi. And it's not like um, too spicy. It looks spicier than it really is. It's got good garlic flavor. Pretty good. Complements the meat and the rice well too. I always try to be nice. Sometimes I'm a little stealth, but I asked them if I could film their place just to show what it looks like inside. Because they have all kinds of stuff in there. Desserts too. Candies, snacks. And they were nice enough to let me film inside and I explained what I was doing. And so they were nice enough to give an interview. And this is an interview with one of the owners. It's a family-based business telling you about what their business is about. So here it is. We've been here for 15 years. April 1st, we made 15 years. We do pretty much all local kind of food. Um, and our best seller is our hamburger steak, although we do daily specials, which include maybe like smoked meat plates. Okay, all right. Um, Anywhere from food or coffee chicken to salmon to uh, our beef stews, chilies, tripe stew. And you have steak too, right? And we have and steak plates every Friday, Kalehu steak. Um, okay, and then you can follow us yeah. on Facebook or Instagram. Check us out. All right, and then that has like your specials of the yes, day, we every day. We post the specials on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, and this is like a family business? Family owned and operated. All right, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Oh, and we also have a lunch wagon. A oh yeah, lunch it's by Salt Lake, right? Yes. By the Target. Yeah. So sometimes we do Target or sometimes we go into the Salt Lake um, area. Okay, what are the hours for that or the um, days? That normally we're there from maybe about 11 till we sell out. Okay, and that's Monday through Friday or no, on the weekend? No, just on Saturdays right now. Oh, Saturdays. Yeah. Okay, so check out their lunch wagon. Thank you. So thank you to the family of Tatsuo's for speaking with me and being very nice. They're very nice people. Even on the phone before I even came, the guy on the phone was super friendly and just nice local style service, you know? 
if you know what I mean. This is the mac salad. Nice and creamy. Sometimes on their menu it says potato mac, but this looks like regular mac. This one I like. Like I said, I don't really like mac salad, but this one is another one I could eat. The other one at Kali Barbecue, I love the oniony flavor. This one has a nice black pepper flavor to it, which I do like. It's got a creaminess to it besides the mayo too, so I don't know if it's like mashed in potatoes to make it thicker, but it's got kind of like that kind of texture, which is also yummy. So the onion to smoke meat ratio is good. Lots of onions, which I like. Nice smoky flavor, not too overpowering. Sometimes people make smoked meat and it's just so smoky. It's almost like cancerous tasting. I mean, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's just so unappetizing, but this is good. Good amount of cave smoke flavor and you know it's really smoked. So that's a good thing. It's got a good meat to fat ratio. So they use the right kinds of meat. So um, smoked meat is going to be fatty sometimes if you're not familiar. And you need that because you don't want it to be so tough and dry. So that's good. But this kimchi is pretty bomb. That definitely hit the spot. And if you're not into smoked meat, they have all your local favorites. And they also serve breakfast and they open pretty early in the morning. So if you're craving breakfast, you're near the Salt, uh, the salt Lake or Airport, Santa Island area, definitely check out Tatsuo's. Um, there's only a small parking lot right in the front, literally two stalls, but this street is so, um, pretty much a small empty street. They've got like big warehouse businesses, but there's lots of parking across the street from there. It's a tiny little lane. So, um, parking's not an issue really. Um, if the stalls are filled up, just park right across the street. There's literally nobody parked across the street here. The plate was $9.99 for a mini for the smoked meat. Um, so 10 46 with tax, not bad. I mean, considering you get another side along with your mac salad. And I thought the portions were pretty big for a mini. It's pretty reasonable. And they have friendly service. So definitely check out Tatsuo's. Check out their lunch wagon on Saturdays by Target Salt Lake if you're interested. Um, I see on their website too that um, sometimes on their IG it says they're sold out from their lunch wagon. So if you go there, you definitely have to go check out their IG to see their hours and go early. And definitely check out their IG and Facebook for all their specials. They post every day early in the morning so you know the specials of the day. Every day it changes. Or go on Yelp and see their regular menu. They have a regular breakfast and lunch menu as well. So that wraps up my underdog, underrated plate lunch places in Kalihi. I hope if you don't know these places to go check them out. Um, everybody always knows all the popular places, but they don't know that there's so many other hole in the wall places that make awesome food for a pretty good reasonable price. And they're um, just not as noticed, I guess. I'm not sure. It's like kind of like a hidden gem, a hidden secret to the people that only know this area. And if you're also asking you know, like there's other places to go to too. So I'm going to make another episode, maybe even episode three of other hidden gems in Kalihi. There's just too many to eat in one day without me getting too full or getting a stomach ache. So I've got other places in mind um, that I want to go to. So I'll probably do that in a couple of weeks again. So definitely check out Island Style Barbecue, Kalihi, Barbecue Drive-In, and Tatsuo's for some awesome plate lunches and I'll check you later for another food adventure. If you like this, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later. Peace out.